Edison, the king of inventors. A boy was squatting absolutely motionless in an empty barn. Al, Al, where are you? Al. Although the boy heard his mother calling, he still was motionless. On the contrary, he was squatting harder, holding his breath. His mother spent almost half the morning looking for the boy until she found and approached him. What are you doing now, Al? asked his mother. Shh, Mom, I'm brooding a goose egg. They say if you brood it warm this way, a goose hatches. The boy's mother was glad about the boy's way of thinking. The boy is the greatest inventor, Thomas Alva Edison. Edison was very weak when he was a child, so the people of his family were much concerned for his health, but they were all surprised at his curiosity and extraordinary acts. One day he set fire to the horse stable in order to see a vigorously burning flame, and it was destroyed by fire. As a result, he was severely beaten by his father. Edison started school one year later than other children of his age because of his weak constitution. But he was always at the bottom of his class and a troublesome and stubborn boy. Looks like you have no hope at all. You don't have to go to school. Holding a leather whip, the stern teacher Engel said to Edison. Edison's mother began to teach Edison at home. Instead of school education, she read him literature and many books. Mom, I like listening to you reading books better than going to school. Edison read a lot of books and grew interested in science. Can't people fly just like a balloon? After thinking of this, Edison gave effervescent powder and said to his friend Michael, Michael, if you eat this drug, you can fly like a balloon. Really? Michael believed Edison's remark and ate the powder. But what's wrong? Instead of flying in the sky, Michael writhed in pain in his stomach. At last, Michael was taken to the hospital and Edison was beaten by his parents. As years passed by, Edison's enthusiasm about experiment increased. In order to conduct more experiments, he made money by selling newspapers on trains. And he even set up his own laboratory in a running train. One day, when Edison almost missed the train, a conductor grasped and pulled his ears to help him get on it. As a result, he became almost deaf. But he didn't care about his handicap. On the contrary, he overcame it by saying, I can devote my more attention to experiment because I can't hear well. One day, a chemical for experiment dropped, causing a fire when the train shook greatly. If you do any experiment again, I'll kick you out, a station officer angrily said to Edison after rushing and putting out the fire. <coughs> Ooh, what shall I do? I can't do any experiment on the train. Edison was discouraged, but one day he saved a station master's son from being hit by a train. Afterwards, Edison learned telegraph skills with the help of the station master. Edison became a useful telegraphic technician and worked as a telegraphic engineer traveling around the United States, but he couldn't resist the desire to do experiments. One day, Edison got on the last train bound for New York with a dream about being an inventor at the age of 20. But invention was very difficult. 
Although he visited many places carrying the cell vote recorder he had invented for the first time, no one acknowledged it. One day, a gold and stock price telegraph company made a request to Edison. Edison, since you have good hand skills, will you please make a good price? Indic Edison made the machine the company president wanted a week after he started working on it. Being very satisfied, the president gave Edison $40,000. Edison used the money to set up a factory in New Jersey and began to make a stock price indicator. His business was prosperous and earned a lot of money. Now I can work for invention as I want it. Edison worked like an ant over 18 hours a day for invention. People struggled to own many things invented by Edison. I really want to do true inventions rather than make money. I think I can't do so here. At last, Edison moved to a quiet village in the country with his wife, Mary, and he set up a small laboratory where he devoted himself to invention. One day, Edison called people and said, I will make a machine that will produce human voice. The people laughed at Edison's remark. But Edison really invented a phonograph that produced human voice some time later. All the people were greatly surprised. Still, Edison's invention continued. Big factories and buildings used electric light bulbs, but households used gas lamps. How can I make it possible to use light bulbs at a household through an electric power generator? Edison carried out a lot of researches on it. Success! After doing researches for over one year, Edison succeeded in making an incandescent electric lamp that could be used at several... As a result, households could use incandescent lamps instead of gas lamps. Edison ended his life at the age of 34 in 1931 after inventing plenty of things that could make life more... Many people mourned his death and wished he had lived longer. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. He made this famous remark. On the day when he ended his life, people turned on the electric light bulbs brighter than the stars in the night sky to express their grief over his death.